are getting more complicated for Niger's deposed President Mohamed Bazou. Good morning. Three weeks after the coup, his former guards want to charge him with treason after sacking him. The government of Niger has to date gathered the necessary evidence to prosecute before the competent national and international authorities the ousted president and his local and foreign accomplices for high treason and undermining the internal and external security of Niger following his exchanges with the nationals of foreign heads of state and heads of international organizations. Political commentators say while the charges against Bazoum are weighty, there could also be a power struggle playing out. They are trying to see how they can silence Bazoum as a president and then possibly end his own life. Because once he's convicted, it means he spent the, he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. And he will no longer be relevant politically in Niger. The problem is that chances are there for an, a civil war to erupt in Niger. The charges come hours after an attack on a military base in the Chilabiru region, north of the capital, Niamey, that killed seven soldiers. It's the fourth such attack since the military took power last month. The coup leaders cite the lack of security as one of the main reasons they overthrew the democratically elected president. But with these attacks on the rise, people are beginning to question the motives of the coup. On Sunday, senior religious figures from Nigeria met Niger's coup leaders who stated a willingness to negotiate with the regional bloc ECOWAS. In neighboring Nigeria, concerns are mounting about the events in Niger as refugees begin to cross its border, fearing an escalation. Tension is building across the border. While many people in Niger are concerned about possible military intervention, many Nigerians are worried about the aftermath. Locals here say centuries of cross-border trade and relationships will be in jeopardy as long as Niger's military remain defiant. We have started receiving influx of people from Niger, but in a pocket. Some of them have started seeking for refuge here. And it's not only Nigeria that's watching with concern. Politicians and analysts on the continent are worried about the speed at which these coups are happening, especially in West Africa. Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. U.S., U.N., ECOWAS flag Niger Jirta's plan to persecute Bersamol. Remember, we've told you that um, the, the military, those who carried out the military coup have released a statement saying they have enough evidence to prosecute um, the former president, Mohamed Bosmo, and um, they have found enough evidence to show that he was working with older people um, against Niger, and even went as far to say that what he was working upon was also going to affect Nigeria. And so that's why, you know, they had to cut him short. Again, they talked about the great influence of France on the country, a country which has gained her independence since 1960, same time as Nigeria, but hardly felt the independence. And so uh, noticing and coming to discover that the according to them the man was not elected by them he was picked you know by france for him to be their puppet to monitor and to control that the military you know are handicapped in ensuring security in their own nation um you know so these are some of the things that have happened and really causing a lot of reactions but the u.s the u.n ECOA and, uh, uh, you know, are flagging off Jeta, asking why they should persecute him, you know, so it's really, the, the ball is got rolling. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. The United Nations, United States and ECOWAS have voiced outrage over threats by the Niger military rule to try detain President Mohamed Bozomo saying the move was unnecessary. The United Nations, United States ECOWAS has voiced out with outrage over the threat by the Niger military rule to try detain President, President Mohamed Bazmo, saying the move would worsen the tension. On Sunday, Niger uh, coup tipped Mohamed Bazoumo will be prosecuted. The outburst president will be prosecuted for high treasoning and undermining the security of 
the country. We are incredibly dismayed by the report that President Bresimo on on just detention has gone even a, for, a step further. State Department spokesman Vandal Patel told reporters the action is completely unwarranted, unjustified, and actually it's ill faith to contribute to a peaceful resolution of the crisis, he added. We are trying to look for ways not to add to it. It says this was this is not necessary at this point in time. The UN spokesman Stephen Dangerick said on Monday that the attempt by Nijay Jetara to bring charges of high treason against democratically elected President Mohamed Bazoumo is very worrying. We remain extremely concerned about the state of being, the health and the security, the safety of the president and his family. And again, we call for the immediate and conditional release and his restatement as head of state, Jenjirik told reporters. Similarly, ECOA said on Monday it was shocked to learn by to length of attempt by Nijay Jetta to bring charges of high treason against President Bresimo. The move is a form of provocation by Nijay cool leaders and contradicts their report willingness to find a peaceful resolution of the current crisis, the both have said in a statement. So my lovely, wonderful people, this is the new and this is the move. This is what is actually going on. And every single person is beginning to watch and wonder what's going on from here. Because um, the whole Niji thing and all that has been happening has become a real point of concern. Yes, it's a real point of concern because a lot of persons, a lot of people are wondering what next. But this guy says they have credible evidence to prove, you know, that um, you know the, the adverse president, President has been working with um, other international group heads of state and um, other nations to undermine you know who Niji is as a nation and they said he was actually working out with the other nations uh to undermine Af to undermine Niji and it was going to rub off on Nigeria and Africa as a whole so these are some of the things that are going on and the group says they are very sure of their decision and um, uh, they know exactly what they are talking about, that this guy um, was to bring about great harm, you know, great harm, uh, harm to, to Niji. And um, that's why with evidences present that they have, they are going to ensure that he is persecuted and that, um, you know, they see to it that all this, you know, he, he pays for it. Uh, what they are really looking out for is to ensure that they are not controlled as puppets because um, for a long time now, they feel very strongly that they don't have a hold on their nation. They don't have a hold on their nation. They don't have a hold on what they are doing. And they, 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 it's, it's not a pleasant, a pleasant experience. Haven't gone through all, you know, gone through independence, but it feels like you don't even have it. It feels very strongly like you don't even have the independence you're talking about. So they are set to persecute, you know, uh, uh, the Albos president. However, Echo ECOWAS, UN, and um, US is saying, no, don't do that. Um, it's a tense atmosphere already and uh, much more. Well, my people, uh, we hope and we pray for peace in Niger so that the nation can be returned to peace. Uh, as that will go a long way, you know, in sorting out some of the issues that are on ground in Niger currently, uh, right now, because um, we can see that there is, you know, there is a, a level of, um, you know, um, you know, a level of uh, commitment that needs to be gotten in order for things to change. Uh, the 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 coup, uh, those who carried out the coup are saying they are not happy with the way things have turned out. Yes, they are not happy. And um, again and again, they have seen, you know, people who are supposed to be you know, minding and speaking for their interests are rather, you know, being used as puppets against the nation. And so when you look at it, you find out that it is, uh, it, it calls for serious attention and every single person needs to understand that we cannot continue to, uh, you know, force the situation. We just have to pray for peace and uh, nobody wants war because it is a terrible situation. If the 
if the people feels very strongly that Bersamo has, you know, he has something, they have something against him, we just need to, you know, dialogue and, you know, diplomacy, we think in this case will go a long way. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. So remember, every single one of us must speak out and end every wrongdoing in order to save this nation. God bless. Bye for now.